Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're going to lift a, an elevator box and cable up 20 feet. Now notice the box will be lifted 20 feet, so that's a fairly straightforward exercise. But the cable is going to be rolled up here, so there'll be less and less and less cable being pulled up. So we're going to need to use integration to figure out the portion for the cable. This is fairly straightforward. So we can say that the work done is going to be equal to the work done to lift up the box of the elevator plus the work done to lift up the cable. So for the box we can simply use MGH because that's the additional potential energy the box will gain when we lift it up 20 feet. The mass of the box times G can be expressed in terms of pounds. In this case the weight, which is the mass times acceleration into gravity, is equal to 2,000 pounds and we lift it through a height of 20 feet. So this portion of it will be equal to mg is 2,000 pounds. Multiply that times the height of 20 feet. And so the work done to raise the elevator box up 20 feet is going to be 40,000 what we call foot-pounds, and that's the unit for work done in the English system. Now we still need to figure out the work done to roll up the cable. What we're going to do there is think of the cable as a long object like this, and we're going to take each small piece of the cable and calculate how much work it's going to take to take that small little piece and lift it to the top. So each piece of the cable will have to go up 20 feet or less, 20 feet for the very bottom of the cable, but less as we go up the cable right here. So this is the height y in a perpendicular direction or vertical direction, starting at y equals 0 to y equals y here, and this little piece will have a small amount of length called dy. So how much mass and how much weight does that small little piece have? Well, the cable is defined to have weight per unit length equal to 25 pounds per foot, meaning every foot of the cable has a weight of 25 pounds. So to find the dw for that, this is equal to the weight per unit length, which is 25 feet or 25 pounds per foot, and we're going to multiply that times well, the small little dy, so when we multiply the weight per unit length times the length of that small little segment, we get the weight of this small little segment, dw. So it's simply going to be 25 times dy, we'll leave off the units for now. We know at the end, we're going to get units for, of uh, foot-pounds. So how much work does it take to lift that small piece up to here? Well, we can call that a dw, and the dw is going to be m. G, but in this case, it's not going to be an M, it's going to be a DMG, the small amount of weight, times the height Y, and of course DM times G is DW times Y. So that's the amount of work done to take the small little piece and lift it up a distance Y. Then to get all the work done to lift the whole cable up, the work is going to be equal to the integral of all little DWs, from y equals 0 to y equals 20 feet, which is equal to the integral of dw times y, dw times y from 0 to 20, and dw was defined as 25 dy. So this becomes 25 times y times dy. We integrate this from 0 to 20, and of course we can take the 25 out. This becomes 25 times the integral of y dy from 0 to 20, and all we have to do is integrate y, which is equal to 25 times y squared over 2 from 0 to 20. Obviously, when we plug in the 0, the lower limit, we get 0, so we don't have to worry about that. We only have to plug in the upper limit. So when we plug in the upper limit, we get 20 squared, which is 400, divided by 2, which is 200. So this is 25 times 200 and 200 times 25 is 5,000, and the units are foot-pounds. So, the work done to roll the cable up will be 5,000 foot-pounds, the work done to get the car up is 40,000 foot-pounds, so this would be plus 5,000 foot-pounds for the cable, so plus 5,000 foot-pounds 
plus 5,000 foot pounds. When we add it all together, the work done for both the box and the cable together is going to be 45,000 foot pounds. So in this particular case, we had the box to get the work done to lift the box up 20 feet is simply mass times G times H. But to roll up the cable, we have to realize that each section of the cable has to be lifted up a different distance. So we calculate the work done for each small segment of the cable, which is going to be the DW times Y, DM, G times Y, or DW times Y. DW will be defined as 25 DY, and then we have the Y from here, integrate, and we get the portion for the cable as well. And that's how it's done.